I think that was a very clear presentation on corporate social responsibility in action. May I now give the floor to Mr. Davignon. <coughs> Thank you very much. I, I thought there were two reasons to show the video. The first one that after lunch one must entertain more than before lunch <laughs> to keep you awake. And secondly, this is a, a good practical example of a combination with a goal. The combination is what put, we put together, Danon and the Nobel Prize winner, Mohamed Yunus, who worked with GAME to try to identify was it possible to combine a product which clearly had nutritional value, create the capacity to produce and distribute to get enough people on board and do it in a fashion where it is not a pilot project, but a project that leads to other projects. And I thought it was interesting to show that what did seem not possible, either from a human point of view or from a resource point of view, could be done. And it's always nice to see things that can be done and it can be useful. This also has a, a second interesting message, is that nobody alone holds the monopoly of solutions. Mm -hmm. The solutions vary from what the problem is, what people are ready to accept, and what people are ready to contribute. And so the, the, the necessity of bringing together people who do not naturally come together is an exercise around which we in CSR Europe try to build our approach. As you said, uh, CSR is a catch word. What is it? It is a vision of what we feel due to the change in the world should be the company in 2020. And we have tried a, a definition that what is the future company of Enterprise 2020, operates profitably through mainstreamed responsibility and transparency, and innovates solution with the people in close cooperation with all interested stakeholders. It's short, but it contains all the contributive elements which lead to a possibility of action. If you don't have action, you can have speeches. Speeches without action at my great age are no great interest for me anymore. So how do you learn? Um, what we try to do today is to imagine what is smart, sustainable, inclusive growth. And everything is there. Smart, because by definition, it's not simply doing what one did before. Sustainable, obviously, with nine billion people already, and I don't know how many billion in the future. The whole balance of resources and availability of resources means that sustainable is no longer a catchword, is an indispensable component of continuity. <coughs> Inclusive. If you don't get the various partners on board, you are going to have something which is fragile. So it needs to be inclusive. People have to understand why it's their interest to do it, what they get out of it, what those who contribute at the high end of the pyramid get out of it. So it is essential. And the last point is that it has to be seen. If you look at the UNUS experience in Bangladesh, part was the idea, the second was the organization, and the third was what was the difference. So how do you make a difference? If you are right and people don't feel that you are making a difference, you are not making a difference because you will not have the indispensable support for the permanence <coughs> of the action. And it's clear that uh, we in Europe have expertise, responsibility, and I hope will 
and certainly hope. And if you put all that together, then you try to promote responsible business. You look at it very carefully. That's why we have studies you have, uh, we have distributed in the documentation that you have all the action that we've done in relation to the base of the pyramid. And the base of the pyramid is not a catch word. The base of the pyramid is a solid foundation with the indispensable components to get it done. And so what is interesting is that logically we started it in Europe and now the interest outside of Europe and the adjustment that we try to do in Europe to the rest of the world becomes a request. And that is the second important part of it. If you lecture, it is simply related on your capacity to convince. If you have an interest that you try to match with the demand, the whole situation and the whole capacity to act changes. And so this is the way forward. That is why we've given us our goal for 2020. It is not something which happens overnight. It is something that you have to build over a period of time with successes and the lesson of the failures. I often say that you learn more by having done something not exactly right in the first time, because if you do it exactly right in the first time, you believe that you found the formula. Um, we all know that there isn't a magic formula that you can just apply and you know what to do and everything will turn out to be right. We have a support coming from the political sector. It's important that the political sector understands that this is an issue of importance for the society at large. And the society at large is the people who hold leadership positions. And so it's important that there is a contribution from the European Commission. It is important that business does it because it feels that it has a responsibility for society, which is good self-interest. Self-interest is not a bad word. The word. How you use it can become a bad word. But self-interest is the driver for initiative, but is not a sufficient driver for initiative. That is why it has to be inclusive. And we have to relate to the fact that the society is composed of people who have, have resources and people who have less resources. The people who have less resources tend to be more numerous than the people that have resources. So you have to see how you bring them in without simply indicating that you are dealing to the people who are in a position of necessity. I've always been uh, uh, strongly in favor of charitable and generous initiatives. That is not enough. It is necessary, it is useful, but it is not enough. It cannot deal with the dimension of the problem that we have to deal with. So when one looks at what is a responsibility of business, the responsibility of business is to look at all the possible consumers or job seekers and deal with those without distinction to which category they belong. It's a tall order. We've been doing it for now nearly 20 years. We are not discouraged and we are going forward. Thank you very much, Mr. Davignon.